Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do some more articles of missing people. Um, you wonder what page I'm reading this off of? It's ourblackgirls.com. Um, I lost my other page, so I'm starting all over, okay, with some new people. I wasn't going to go in order, but hopefully I can find my page again, okay. So we'll be talking about Quenicia, K-R-E-N-E-I-C-E, -E -E, Jones, three, went missing with two-year-old Lamani, L-A-M-O-I-N-E, Allen. This is how she looks, Okay. There about there is about to there is about a three hour stretch from Jackson, Mississippi to Woodville. The small town boasted less than nine hundred people in two thousand and twenty one census. So no one can only imagine the area back in nineteen ninety two when Crenicia Jones went missing. On May the tenth of that year, the three year old was with her two year old friend Lamani Allen playing in front of a local store before they vanished. She's saying they are still together. They are saying they are still together. According to reports, Quenicia and Lamani was in front of the of the Wool Jimmy Jackson grocery store on Highway 24 with upwards of 20 other people. The youngsters were spotted playing with a handful of other children before Quenicia and Lamani were shooed away. Quenicia was at the store with her father, who was reportedly separa separated from her mother. Also, Lamani was with relatives he lived with in Eagle, in Edgar, Louisiana, about two hours away. A woman driving by around 4 o'clock p.m. told police she saw the children outside at that time. Hers will be the last account. Okay. Investigators unleashed an intensive search of the area. She said the KKK did do it, but no trace of Lamani or Crenicia were located. The town sits in a wooded area with several waterways and no evidence were found. She is saying she was in that area. She said she waterways in that area. It was, learned that an uh, it was learned that an unfamiliar vehicle was in the area at the time. Described as a blue compact car with a false convertible top, chrome hubcaps, and a dark tinted windows. However, it is unknown if the vehicle is connected to the missing children. It is believed that the children was abducted by a nun family member. She's saying they're saying yes. Police reportedly questioned several relatives and deduced they were not involved in the children's disappearance. This is how she would have looked it at 14 years old from 2008. Okay. At the time of her disappearance, Quenicia Jones stood 2 feet 11 inches tall and weighed 33 pounds. She had black, dark brown hair and brown eyes. She was last seen wearing a multicolored one-piece short outfit, shorts outfit, a black and white polka dot tie, and pink slipper sandals. She is saying she naked. They got her clothes. Um, anyone with information about this case is urged to contact the Wisconsin County Sheriff's Office at 601-888-3511 or their local authorities. The agency case number is 92-0512-2. Please share this story by Quenicia Jones to help we in night interest in her case. She is our sister and her life matters. Okay? Hope y'all enjoy her mouth. If y'all want to help with this case, y'all can. Um, I don't do it for the fame or the money. I do it because it's what I love. I'm out.